A few moments later. I told you, I'm you doing some other shit. It's in the store, man. That was a lesson, man. Yeah. said the nigga got dropped off, he done ran and did some other shit. Oh, oh my man. God. The bathroom is way on the other side. Check myself, sure. The camera right there. The mirror right there. It's a mirror right behind that door. Behind the door. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know the intro. I got it. Oh, man. You should get money, nigga, and all that. <laughs> yeah, he told you. Don't... Told you it's some good real shit, nigga. You bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get nervous now. You about to, you about to zoom in on you. Don't get nervous now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you gonna see yourself in two seconds. You gonna be right on front street. There, there you go. You wanna sit up? You wanna? Yeah. Like, you might have to get the oh, wee pop man. fashion like sound. Money. Yeah, you definitely look like some money. Uh huh. Like a Haitian hey, nigga man. getting some money, man. Bring out the eighty thousand dollars yeah. You had it. We you trying run, to you call the place. We trying to figure did. out what was what. We would have did anything, but you just. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got no. We ain't got no runners. This shit start costing money. This shit. This shit nah, costs money, nigga. Nah, we Uber Eats. Uber, Uber, Uber Eats a liquor store, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uber eats a liquor store. I need some liquor because I cause I get in my groove, you feel yeah, me? You're getting your it's shit. just a starter. The microphone good? His microphone good? Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Oh. One, two, one, two. <clears throat> you can bring me up a little bit. Turn me up and turn me up. You want the Wee Pop fashion sign, Sonny? Yeah. Could we get the Wee Pop yeah, fashion? Yeah. Y'all can Uber Eats that? <laughs> yeah, we can, we can get you some. I'm like, so a, I'm, like a, I'm a fake. I'm, no, he, he, he. I got a dick. Oh, you need it now? Yeah. Oh, shit. We don't even know how we're going to let him in. We're going to figure that out. I don't, need a, I don't need no big bottle. I just need a small bottle just to have me, you know, just keep going. Let me get it going. Damn, I forgot to even sing the intro and all that. Yeah, you forgot. You I, I'm going to have to freestyle it, man. All right, let's dance. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the Weave Pop Fashion Podcast. I'm your host, Sonny the Show Off. And I'm Joe Fent. And on today's episode, we got a special guy, man. I knew the guy for a while. He's been flying my book for a while. He wear many hats, go by many names, many aliases. Uh, we know him as Vibe himself. Uh, uh, Papa Zo, uh, Trump Turner, but I call him Trump, y'all. Welcome, baby. Welcome. Thank you very much. What's so it's good to be home. What's going yeah. on, brother? What's going on? Just you know, getting through it and getting to it. Yeah, well, uh, explain your look, man. What you, what you, what you bless us with today, man? Oh, today I went, I went real old school, man. You know, I do. If they do something, I do, I do something else. So I went Sergio on them. You know what I mean? West Indies, white and yellow ups. Okay. You know, because I'm Haitian. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yellow drum, yellow and gold, to match the gold. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, you know, just, you know, I didn't, I didn't bring the 80, I didn't bring the $100,000 chain out tonight. I brought the, you know what I mean? <laughs> put the ropes on, nigga. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to switch oh, up. Do ropes on them? Yeah, I do ropes on them. Definitely, okay, okay. Definitely. So, Vibe, tell us a little something. Where you from? Like, you know. Uh, Where it all start? Where it uh, all this start at? Um, I'm from Mount Vernon. You know, I'm from Mount Vernon. Born and raised. Uh, I lived in the Bronx. Lived in Harlem. So I'm just uptown, baby. So you know, but really, really, you know, it's, it's Mount Vernon for me. Okay, okay. So what um, what influenced your style? From from birth, we gonna we gonna start from the ground up. So you know, I know a lot of people. Yeah, it's either they 
someone they looked up to, someone in their family, their parents dressed them. Like, where did yours start from? Well, um, it started, you know, my father. My father used to uh, used to get fly, you know, he used to wear suits and and get, you know, wear the, he used to be a ladies man, so he used to get dressed up all the time and kept himself real together. So watching him, cause you know, your first thing is your father is always your, your first, you the first, that's your first, you the first groupie for your father. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's your superhero. Off the jump, so you know, it was him, then you know, started to, you know, I had a older cousin by the name of Guy and a uh, older cousin by Belinda. And they was more, they was Haitian, but they was like Americanized Haitian. So mm -hmm. it was around, you know what I mean? The people that was, you know, hustlers and shit like that. And I used to see them come through with coats and different, you know, MPVs and, and mm. I seen chains and rings and things. And yeah. it was like, I was a young nigga, so I'm just looking, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. I was, Soaking it all in, I'm like, okay, I see what's going on. Then I used to like, cause I didn't have cable, mm -hmm. so I used to go to my um my aunt's house, which is their mother, Mel. I used to walk up the hill just to watch Rap City and shit. And I used to just be watching Rap City. This man, this is when cable was cable. Yeah, like you feel me, box. wire and all that. Yeah, this is uh -huh. when cable was mm -hmm. like you feel me. So I'm watching Rap City. I'm seeing Rock Kim come through with the. The big chains and Eric B and I'm looking at LL and MC Him and I'm just amazed at this shit. I'm like, nah, I wow. want this shit. I want it. So that's why sometimes when you see this look that I throw on, it's shit that I just grew up saying I'm yeah. gonna get. Okay. And that was that that shit that you wanted to pick up. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted it. Like you I, had to make sure you immediately. Had I said, nah. You know what I'm saying? Even if my mom's couldn't get this shit, now nah, I'm gonna get this shit. I don't care how I'm gonna get it, <laughs> but I'm gonna get this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That's and that's where my hunger came through for getting money and shit like that. It's like you know I was getting money boy, at like seven eight years old. Mm -hmm. I used to, I used to, I used to get kicked out of kicked out of class and shit. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean I could talk about it now, but I used to get kicked out of class and they used to send me to the um to the office. So I used to have to sit in the office. So as I'm sitting in the office one day, I'm like like my I forgot I'm like I'm like, second, I'm like third grade or some shit fourth grade. Sitting in the office and I'm seeing envelopes. So you know when you when you uh when you pay tuition, there's envelopes. Yeah, you coming every month. Stealing the yeah. tuition money, man. <laughs> Scamming early, man. Early, you feel me? Yeah, so you remind me of two other people, <laughs> but I can't say they day. But you know, Catholic school was two other people up the hill from you. One of them was Haitian. He went to Mount Saint Michael with me. Okay. I don't want to put their names yeah. out there because so, another one of them is my feeble. Shout out to both of y'all. Yeah. If y'all see this, they when they see this, they gonna know yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. So <laughs> I was, uh, I was. They kept kicking me out of class. I was gonna kick out of class at one point just, just to go to the office. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the office and I'm seeing um, these envelopes, and then you know, like every, I think like every month, I think you remember back in the day they used to give you the. Uh, the little brochure you used to bring home, they didn't give you the candy. For the candy, oh yeah. But you, you fill out the brochure, yeah, 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 they give you uh -huh. the money up front. So I used to see those too. <laughs> so they used wild. I was man. taking everything. I'm going to Chambers. Bro, I bought my first pair of Jordans. Yeah. Bro, I, used to, I, used to like, I used to have like three, four thousand dollars at, bro, I used to buy nothing but candy, bazookas, crybabies, so giving them out. Bro, how was you hiding this from your moms though? I was just finessing. I was. I found the way to do that. You were scamming from early. Oh yeah, this is this. I was bad from jump. So yeah, and anybody who went to school with me, if y'all see this, tell them that I'm telling the truth, please. I was bro. I was throwing book. I was throwing books off the bookshelf out the window. I was wilding. Um, yo, and I, and and and, like, and you went to school New Row, right? I went to I went to Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was getting kicked out early. So long story short. I'll never forget, <laughs> never forget this. This girl, I can say her name. She, Erica Burton. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, Erica Burton. You know when, you know now when you get the brochures and shit. So remember, when you come from school, I mean, when you come to class one day, they got all the candy stacked up. Yeah. yeah. So I think I probably took like six envelopes. I didn't go crazy. Yo, bro, I seen people when I'm in class. Mind you, I didn't even participate in this shit. You ain't sell nothing. It's <laughs> something, nothing. I'm in class. Niggas is getting the candies. I'm seeing, oh, I didn't get no candy. I'm watching my friends like crying, 
Cause then, you, know, cause you then done cuffed get... the money. <laughs> Are you sitting there with Jordans on with, and shit? With Stand fresh there. Jordans so, on. So y'all didn't have to wear a uniform or y'all could- We had to wear a uniform. But you could wear whatever on your nah, feet. But, nah, 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 dress back down. Then, then. Back then, it was no- Catholic school. Nothing. You had you to may shoe have it up down. to- uh-huh. One day, they was like, yo, y'all Once a month. Down. That's when you was wild happy. That's when I was coming through stupid fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like once a month, you get a dress down day. But okay. reason why also too, I was coming through stupid Market fresh- period. Because I had older cousins, so- I used to like fake sneak and take their shit, yeah. mm -hmm. come into school with Get a look five off. jackets mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And they used to be tight when I came home. Yo, you wearing my shit, da da da. I used to go through it, but like, the, it during the day, the I look. made it. It was worth the look. It was worth the look. Nah. So coming up at that age and looking at the rap videos and seeing your older relatives, that's what just influenced you and you, you just took a liking to, to, to fashion it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 so, you would say you fell in love with it at that age, or was it older? Like, when did you no, fall I fell in, in love? love? You know it nah, was I it. fell in love, like, I ain't, I would probably be like, what, 89, 90 or something? Like, I was, like, I seen MC Hammer, like, on mm -hmm. some, this is what MC Hammer was, MC Hammer was that dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember coming home from school, and I'll forget this, in my mom's room, I see MC Hammer, and I'm like, yo, this nigga's the truth. He had the big, like the Giselle. fake Giselle shits on, mm -hmm. got the cherry, got the, the silk outfit shit. You know, he, the baggy doing all shit, this, pants, doing the all this. Pants. I'm like, he's like, yeah. oh, this nigga, he's it. I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, nah, he he's pulled, it. Pulled. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No freaky Ziggy. <laughs> no, <laughs> <was crazy>. no, <laughs> freaky, no freaky Ziggy. No freaky Ziggy. But, uh, and I see him, or like, Hammer was like one of the first dudes that I seen. I was like, nah. Like, he, that's a superstar. Yeah, he's a superstar. He's a yeah. superstar. He was like, lit. People, people be sleeping on him. I be like, no, Hammer was a super nah, duper Hammer was, star. And, and Hammer got busy. Yeah, oh, yeah nah, they yeah, said, yeah, nah, yeah, they, yeah, said yeah, yeah. they said Hammer was more around with sure? the guys. None of them really said mm -hmm. nothing bad about, none yeah. of the gangsters got nothing bad to say mm -hmm. about Hammer. Because Hammer, um, Hammer went broke messing with all his dogs. He was fed everybody. And was, yeah, yeah, he took yeah, it. No, but I'm going to tell you what's so crazy. I'm at the ESPN zone with a honey one night mm -hmm. in the city. I'll tell you who the honey is later. Hammer, this is like, you know, late in the game, but I think we coming to watch like a playoff game, something, but I had like a site juice card. Mm -hmm. Hammer, they got Hammer in the back of the line like a regular dude, B. Ooh, I, know he felt like I went to Hammer concert and all that, you know I had to get Hammer. I'm like, yo, that's MC Hammer. Like, what are y'all doing, What are y'all doing? He had like an American flag um, bandana yeah, 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 yeah. on and all that. I'm like, yo, y'all can't be serious. Y'all not putting him in before mm -hmm. everybody. No, I can't. Y'all can't do that thing. Yeah, that was my hammer story. <laughs> hammer? <right? No. laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I do love that. it. You got the I old can't do that. stocking cap on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah to be honest, yeah, you got you to gotta do the, we really want to get these waves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really want to do this shit right, man. I'm going to tell y'all. I done used every grease in the world. I done used Dax, New Now, uh -huh. S Curl. Murray. Pink lotion. Pink lotion. I done did I done put all these shits in my head. One. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Just put that shit Dude, on the waist. Word. I'm talking about I done came to school sometimes. My hair straight white. There's so much <laughs> shit in your hair. <laughs> yeah. Hair white. Word. <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? But the shit, shit's a spinning though. Shit, shit work. It work. <laughs> shit work. I remember. They spinning, nigga. Get, they spinning. Word. I remember getting haircuts. <laughs> And Barbers is tight to cut my hair because I got wild shit in Fucking yeah, clogging yeah. the clippers up, man. I'm mad, mad as a motherfucker. It's tight. Like, clogging bro, the clippers, bro, bitch. Shit's down, yeah. They spinning, nigga. They spinning. But I ain't gonna lie. Those days when you was putting all that shit in your head, that shit was spinning, though. Yeah. <laughs> but it was hard for y'all niggas to cut, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, you Yo, know what I mean? That's weird. My thing is, where did Trump come into play? Like, when did you know you was Trump? Like, this is it. When did you mm. hit your mark? You know um, what I'm saying? Like, when did that name come into play and how did it come into play? Um, I always got to give this place uh, big props. Rochester, I, fuck, I like Ro Ro No, I love Rochester, New York, but them niggas is crazy up there, boy. Yeah, I almost wow. died up there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but your Rochester was a, is a very, um, it's a, it's a small town where, you know, they, they don't get their props. Mm -hmm. And they really, they really go hard for their ass. Like they, they really consider themselves the sixth borough. That's what mm -hmm. the, when I came up there, that's what they called themselves. Okay. So long story short, um, my mom's when I when I um, I barely passed high school, 
Um, and then I went to, my mom was making me go to college. So she was like, uh, you going up no upstate with your cousin in Rochester. I'm like, I'm not going, I'm staying in the hood. I'm like, no. She was not having it. Long story short, I take this trip to Rochester. I was tight. Mm -hmm. Tight. <laughs> Boom. Goes up there. This is where I, I got I you know, I got all the fly shit then. I'm I got iceberg. Remember the Charlie Brown leathers with the Charlie Brown mm -hmm. in the back? Mm -hmm. Those, the Genesis jacket. Vanson's. No, the Gen no Genesis. Not, not Vanson, Vanson. just the Genesis box. Genesis himself. jacket. Yeah. Okay. You feel mm -hmm. me? Then they had the Vansons. They had the Vansons. This is this is this is uh this is Jersey days where you where red and blue and white was the favorite mm -hmm. color when mm -hmm. red and blue and white had. So hold on, I like that. I like this little trivia sometime. Cause a lot of people don't be knowing they shit. Where was Genesis at? Huh? Where was Genesis? Genesis was on 50 something in Lexington. My man. Mm -hmm. Come on, you know I know. Right by right. Bloom. My man. Okay. Yeah, right right. From Bloom. Yep, yeah. I'm listening. Uh, so you went, you was up there, Rochester. I was on your I way came up there. in Rochester, I never uh -huh. forget. Uh, my orientation, like, your mom, no, I want to go. She came up there with me. I'm like, she's like, Junior, please just go to school. I'm like, I want to go. <laughs> this ain't Boom. Bad. I already knew off the jump when I when I did my orientation shit. I did the test. I'm bad at these shits. They like, yo, you you going to the bottom D league. Like, you going to the D class. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So, boom, I start school. So, you know. You know, when you fly, you know what I mean? You gonna stand out. I mean, I stand out you everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm walking through the hallway, you think it's just like, it seeing it like, oh, shit, like. So one person approached me, and I remember me and him, we, that was the first person I got cool with. So, you know what I mean? I started sitting in the lobby with him, chilling, we was cool. But then me and him end up getting into a fight because he stole my hat. Mm. He st now, this is the days where Niggas was even getting fitted hats. Mm -hmm. Upstate didn't even have a fucking market for fitted yeah, hats. Yeah, they didn't even know about that. Yeah, so you know, I had my Yankee and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. The nigga I got cool with, my fitted just disappeared somewhere. So a couple of days go by, son walking through with my fitted and he's grilling me. He coming through like, I'm like, yo, bro, that's my hat. And I sent your hat. Like, bro, where did you get this hat from? They don't even sell it. Bro, they was not even selling New Era hats upstate mm -hmm. in 2001. You feel me? They had to just get a license or, or you know what I mean, something. Bro, it was to the point I had to get, I had I had Cap USA. I had linked up my people from Rochester. My man Quick, who owns a barbershop on Dewey. I had to link him up with some of my, some of my peoples. He started getting hats from New York to get up there. Yeah. So they didn't even have New Era you know what I mean? They didn't know what it was. So some was like trying to like, and you know what's crazy, man, throughout life, man, you know every person that I could, I, I like linked up and considered like a friend always betrayed me. We always have to get up. Cause I'm not going for it. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people that's gonna be like, yo, bro, my but nah, fuck that. You're done with me. Like I yeah. just like I'm not with the apologize and we get over it. We're done. We're done. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I don't need you. Yeah, I'm, I, that's how I've been. Like, I, mm -hmm. You feel me? Like I'm not with that. So once you cross me, you lost me. So long story short, me and him. Uh, you now I'm saying this is when I made my mark upstate. Don't forget it. Comes in. Uh, me and he's grilling me every day. Long story short, we get in the lobby. I spank him out in front of everybody. Takes my hat back. And that right there, it's shit like a movie. That right there solidified. Everybody me. loved you after that. Yo, Harlem, they calling me Harlem. Yo, Harlem. Yo, <laughs> shout out to my man Dre, my man Ronton, uh, all my niggas up there, my man Rob. Yeah, those are my guys up there. My man Cheddar. It was wild people. Our people, man Dutch. We was, we was, I was that dude. They used to call me Harlem. So you know what I mean? I mean, I'm up there, I'm coming through. So then I'm coming through. Niggas like, yo, yo, we get this for this, we get this. I'm like, what? So now. I'm coming from, I'm supposed to be going to school now. I'm going home every, I'm going to New York every weekend. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, I'm going to 28th Street getting wild jerseys. I'm getting wild clothes. Selling all that I'm shit getting, up there. I'm getting jerseys for like 50 cash. I'm selling it to some niggas for like $400. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting. You can eat. I'm getting all white ups, all types of shit. Twenty dollars, I'm, I'm selling triple though. Yeah, Sell yeah, yeah, triple niggas. Mm -hmm. I'm not doubling. I'm I'm quadrupling at this point. Mm -hmm. 
So, so now I'm packing a car with wild fake knockies. Then I'm packing a car with wild work. I'm just a one stop shop for yeah, these at this point. All the shit they dream about down down in the city, you bring bro, it up to today them. to them. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm bringing weed. I'm bringing coke. I'm bringing everything. Bro, I'm packing my car up, driving up with all types of shit in the car. I'm talking about. It takes me six. It takes me five and a half hours to get down. Down. I'm leaving my crib about seven in the morning, getting mm-hmm. to the city at like twelve, going to going to the eighth, getting wild clothes, going to get the work, going to Harlem, going to Bronx. It was at the time I didn't even know, and I will talk about this now. You know my son's um, what's the name from uh thirteen for them uh, Bobby and them. Yeah, 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 Bobby. And my son, we ain't gonna mention his name, but my, my son who used to uh work at the UP uh at the uh what's the name? Mm-hmm. He was giving me uh, Ari at the time. Mm. He was getting Ari mailed. But at the point, I didn't know who was the person I was getting it from. So they was getting Ari at the time for like $300. Yeah, they was wow. doing them right. early. They was giving to me. But I was going up there selling that shit for like $2,500. <laughs> I was getting wild that shit from them, packing the car up. But I was, I was up. So now this is where Trump came in apart. Okay. So now, cause you know, in Rochester, there's really nothing to do. They, yo, I'm talking about after like 11 o'clock, bro, there's nobody on the streets. It's a dead, okay. t- dead town. Dead town. You feel me? We nigga? know, upstate. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's one of those areas where fiends still knocking at the window. Like niggas is really in trap houses where houses don't have no landlord, no nothing. He's just <laughs> abandoned cribs. I mean, these cribs where, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, yo, what the fuck am I in right now? Mm-hmm. Niggas sleeping in these houses. Like, Rochester's real. That's why, I like, you know, Benny and, like, they all be talking that astronomical shit. I believe that shit, because yeah. that shit happens. It was, like, wow. that, it really it, goes down up you there. You can like, get it up there. You can really do it. Like, it's... it's if you it, got the right situation. There's blocks up there that's just, like, straight, like, zombie. Like, straight zombie. So, you know what I mean? Long story short, I start, you know what I mean? We, 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 uh... We was a party, we go to house parties and shit, and we started rapping on the mic. And one day, me and my man Dutch, my man J- Jedi, we actually just started rapping it, and we became like a little fake group called Rich Boys. And then we just started just getting money and just going to the studio, getting money, going to the studio, and that's all we could do. So Rochester's where like I kind of like perfected my craft as music go, because there was really nothing else to do mm-hmm. but just get money and, and just concentrate on music. So, so with Trump, name, yeah. So Trump actually mm-hmm. came up. For a name, they're like, yo, you getting money, da 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 da. Yo, son, your name should be Trump. So I'm like, word. Now I'm not, I said this, my, nah, cause I was reading books. I got books, like you know, at the time, cause I learned from, uh, I mean, my man Jay Hood. I used to be with Jay Hood, and Jay Hood was on his, uh, I remember Kiss and Sheik and them used to have him read like Italian books and watch movies and shit. I used okay. to be with Hood, and he's like, yeah, and I mean, I gotta watch this movie. Cause they used to be all into that Italian mobster shit. Mm. So I'm like, I was looking for names, I'm buying Italian books. I'm like, damn, Luciano, all this other shit. Like, I'm like oh, nah, I'm like, I just went with Trump. So I mean, it fit me, and I started running with Trump then, and that's where Trump came. So now, when you come back to Mount Vernon, <clears throat> came back to Mount Vernon after that. I came back like around 05, 04, 05. Niggas try to kill me up there. I said, oh, nah, I was getting too much money. I'm fucking mm-hmm. too much bitches, fucking too much money. So now Niggas. when you come back, because And shout out to I my know... man Fion, too. Fion, he was holding me down. He was like, he was like the big homie up there. Okay. I know usually like when someone is out of town for a certain amount of time, they lose their sense of fashion. So what kept you, yeah, so what well, what kept you afloat? What kept me afloat was just watching videos, keeping up. Okay. This is this the set day, so dip set was huge. Mm-hmm. And I mean the set, you remember the big Square earrings that Kim used to wear. Them shit's fucked up my them ass. Shits. <laughs> them shit's fucked up my ass today. Shit. Now nah, I mean, Killer went Killer. It was it was yeah. Killer. I that mean, at that, at that time, I want to say Killer. Killer like kept it going. I mean, the set kept it going. Jim and them else, they kept it going. Ruga and them, they kept it going. And then it was just basically that. That's it. Like just keeping up with you know 106 and Park and just watching people okay. in the crowd, seeing when niggas got on Freestyle Friday, like. 
oh, this is, you know what I mean? So okay. I still kept in tune. Like, I didn't like I was just always upstairs because I remember I was coming up and down. Oh, yeah, you're going yeah. back and forth. That's right. what I was about yeah. to say, coming mm -hmm. back and forth. Mm -hmm. Stopping in Harlem, you seeing yeah. what the flavor is. When I'm stopping in Harlem, seeing Luca, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Luca, you know what I'm like, you feel me? So, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so that's what that's what I came about. You know what I mean? So, it was, it was, it's like a movie. It's really, it, well, the movie's coming out soon. You want to do something? Yeah. So, um, fashion-wise, mm -hmm. what was your favorite era? My favorite era was, uh, I want to go to- It could be now. It I want to be... go, go 98, 99, 2000. You like that? For yourself or just in general? We talking about- That was just your what, what are you asking, in general or for himself? Nah, like fashion wise. Yeah, what fashion wise. What's your you favorite like? era, fashion wise? Ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand. For me, well, for me, uh, I like back in the day. You know what I mean? Eighties, mm nineties. -hmm. I like not. I like not. I really like nineties because it was more like, it was more. You know what I'm saying? It was fit. It was, it was like. You know what I mean, like niggas used to wear. You know what I'm saying? Like the ballets and. Glasses and Kangos and mm. that's the eighties. Yeah, that's the eighties, early nineties. Yeah, early 90s. That. okay, I, yeah, I like yeah, yeah. It's like okay. coming. So through. I, I, I mimic that a lot by like 94, 93, 94. That's when it got rugged. It started yeah, to get rugged. The baggy so shit like, yeah, yeah, early, Zang, yeah, Nah. Yeah, so I kind of really like. You know what I'm saying that. Then the early eight, like the like the eighties to the nineties. Then it kind of came back around ninety seven, ninety eight. When Esco was wearing suits and getting mm -hmm. mm -hmm. street dreams and, mm -hmm. and big, but was it was just Versace big though. It was just still oversized, but it was still clean. Yeah, so I go, I, I like that. I, I still mimic that to this day. So, how do you feel about the new era of fashion right now? This, uh, the the hobo look, the bummy look, the, the oversized clothes. I, I, I mess with it. I, I mean, I be, I, I, I do it once in a while. I mix it up so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all. See, me, my whole thing with fashion is that as long as you do what you want to do, mm -hmm. that's what I jack it. Once you start dressing like other people and you just start seeing stuff and you're just doing what other people do, that's not swag to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just be yourself, be original, and take a chance. Chances make champions. Take, uh, man, bro, I be taking chances left and right. <laughs> <laughs> What I was in Harlem yesterday with a suit on. <laughs> Full well, suit. The, the, oh, yeah, the plaid jumpsuit on. The plaid suit on. The plaid. Suit suit on. on. The plaid? Yeah, yeah, but that ain't that ain't really a chance. Like what? Who, you see, who you see walking around with suits on? No, but it fits you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, I don't. I've, I've rarely seen you look with a clothes and just wearing you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna it's gonna fit you. So you you'll get something that's left, but you'll make it fit you. Yeah, and I I feel like even like. You know, because of my age, I always said this to myself and my, my pops, he used to always dress up like that. And I always said to myself, like, yo, bro, you wild fly and you got all these clothes, but when it's time to like really dress up to go somewhere, you got nothing. You look like a bum. Mm, can't get it right. I'm mm -hmm. like, nah, you gotta get some, you gotta get some like, some some dress up clothes in your closet. Get some good fun yeah, so hang out like, clothes. Yeah, so what I told myself, I'm like, yo, Every Sunday, I'm a I'm a wear a suit or I'm a, I'm a dress up like on some Sunday service shit. I'm a, yeah. Or some that's what I do now. Every Sunday, I I, I wear a suit or I wear Come something like for pops, like my pops. Rep, repping your yeah. pops exactly. So, and I'm not gonna lie to you, mm -hmm. bro. The, the looks I get. The females look at oh, yeah, different. Oh no, the females love that. Stand out, yeah, bro. and it's different. You doing something is... that, that you you don't look like everybody walking around. That shit, body, Javinci. That shit, mm. body. All the labels you could think of. Every label, Ricky Owens, all that other shit, and Chrome Hearts. That shit got nothing on formal, boy. Mm -hmm. When you look, but you like, mixing it though. You're not going all the way. I'm you're not putting going it, you're putting it on with the forces and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm giving it some swag, but I ain't gonna lie. The biggest swag ever, though, and next week this happens, I'm doing it again. Yo, bro, I was dressed like a Mexican probably not too long ago, bro. Yeah, hey, I saw you that with the sombrero. <laughs> bro. Yeah. I had the cowboy boots on. Yeah. With the, bro, that right there, I had the Mexican yeah. joints. Like, oh my God, I am I, I am I, oh my God. 
goodness. Especially in Cali. In Cali? Bro, I had girls walk up to me like, yo, I want to bring you home to my parents. Yeah. Just man. because I had that look on it. Like, yeah, I forgot what they call like the black Mexican. What's the name? Just said it recently too. On um, Will I Am, he was on Nori mm -hmm. Joint. And he was like an honorary black Mexican. So they used to call him something. Yeah. Like a, not a chulo or something, but it was something like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah. You know what I mean? So um so taking chances is good. Chances yeah. is good. You know what I mean? It but, makes you stand. And that's no that's but that's because you have a sense of fashion too. Yeah. So it's like you know how people to put your be thinking, to it. People mm -hmm. be thinking they can take chances with just anything just because. And it's just like, nah, you st I still have a sense of fashion. So when I'm taking my chances, I'm still coordinating it a certain way. 100 percent Like I ain't gonna front, like, you know, not to throw it out there, but I don't know if you're gonna get mad at me, but it's just fashion shit. So <laughs> Funny story, I'm um, I'm chilling. I had like a I had like a suit on like this, chilling night. Uh, I had a Sergio Tachini joint on, and I had a I got a, I had a Kango fitted, so a furry fitted. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm I'm about to get some, some of them shits now. Yeah. But I had a Kango fitted. I walked up in the spot. The nigga Odell Beckham see me like, what the fuck? <laughs> the nigga Odell Beckham took the hat right off my head, bro. And threw the hat on his head. The nigga took my hat. Nigga got you. So let him, let him know now. He need, he owe you a hat, man. Yeah, he owe some, some good oh, joints. Oh, they'll know he owe me a hat. <laughs> yo. The nigga so, um, took my whole hat. He like, yo, nah. I, yo, I, I need this hat. I got I got the proof in my phone. He show, him wearing my hat. He has my hat. So uh, unfortunately, you know, came kind of late. Yeah, you talking and to the we bottom, gotta, man. We got to wrap it up. Short. Already? Yes, we gotta wrap it up, man. Unfortunately, <laughs> man. Unfortunately, so what we were doing? Part two? Do it again. Uh, we are gonna definitely have to do part two, and you gotta you gotta be on time, man. We yeah. we apologize, man. He, he was right. late, yeah. so we gotta wrap we this up. We started. We we didn't get started. We didn't get no nowhere near started. So what we're doing this tomorrow? What Thursday? I, I mean, we shit. We we out. fuck around. Could book it later if if, if uh, Remy is available. But, we could um, book it later. We could go to uh, Ricardo's, get some drinks, and come right back to us. <laughs> well, you could get some drinks. You know, we stay sober to get over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, you can tell the people, you know, you can just shout out whatever you want to shout out in time being. Out. Yeah, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. I mean, uh, what they could look, yeah, what they could look for, I mean, forward you know, to. Shout out to, uh, you know what I mean? You know, if you are, if you, if you're a writer, if you're a singer, if you're a producer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Vibe Entertainment is uh, taking people to the new level. You feel what I'm saying? Get with me. Uh, you can get me on Instagram, Trump Turner, T R U M P T U R N E R. I'm on all social media uh, platforms. Um, I got Body Different out right now. You can look me up on Apple Music, Spotify, all the platforms. Trump Turner, you can look it up. Um, I got Hold It Down, Cause You Thought I Was Dead. My EP should be dropping um, during Vibe season, let's say around the summertime. Look out for it. And you know, we just here to just bring the, you know, bring the, Make America vibe again, man. You know, Trump 2024. So we just here, man. We just taking things to a new level. Uh, you know, uh, shout out to my one of my producers, Spunk Bigger. He has a platinum record. You know, we did uh we did Diane on uh the King Combs album, Pop Smoke, RP Pop Smoke, one of my one of my good friends. You know what I mean? We just we just working, we we, we working on a lot, new stuff. We just you're gonna see a lot of us. So we just working, you just bring the vibes back, we bringing up town back. We bring Mount Vernon back. Mount Vernon to be exact first. Mm -hmm. Then we get to all the other places like the Bronx and all of them. And I love those are my second homes and third homes, but as you we gotta we gotta, we gotta start with the call first and we, we get to everything. Definitely, definitely. All, all right. right, so that's it. You had a good one with Trump Turner. Peace. Yeah. Stay by me. Yo, I'm made for this shit, bro. I'm so, bro, you see me? I just. You came late, though. Pause, man. <laughs>